Will the Asus Sapphires M16 laptop be able to run After Effects smoothly? So that is what we're gonna find out in this video. So let's go ahead and download After Effects. So After Effects should be somewhere here. Let's hit install and it's waiting. It's now currently installing so let's give that some time and i'll be right back when it is finished installing i will tell you how long it takes to install also all right guys so after effects just finished install so it's currently 11 50 and i started at 11 38 so roughly around 10 minutes 11 minutes or so so that is pretty fast and again this might depend on your internet speed and your storage type whether it be ssd or hard drive but for this computer it's a ssd and i pretty much have a good amount of space on it left so let's get into after effects let's open let's see if it actually opens so let's see how long it takes So I would say take around 10 seconds to open. So that was pretty fast. So we're going to open a project that I already have. So this was one of my projects I was working with. So this is one of my client right here. And this is currently the timeline. So it's the first time I'm opening this project in After Effects on this computer. So this is the timeline currently. So. We're going to do a little scrub through and see how it plays scrub through at full. So this is me scrubbing through at full. And I'm not really seeing any lags to be honest. So let's talk about what this project includes. So it has a effect. It has a audio amplitude. So basically this text right here reacts to the audio frequency or the audio amplitude whatever it's called so if it's loud it will bounce up if it's low it will bounce down you guys get the idea so it's also have a audio into it it had some looping effect so like right here if you look closely these guys are moving behind the building so it has like a looping position i believe that's called loop out on the position so let me show you yeah so this is the effect that we have on right there and what else so we also have the audio what's that called so we have an audio spectrum on also which is right down here so with that said guys let's do a playback at full and see how it performs so this is the first time i'm playing back at full so let's go on one step one step So it's kind of struggling at full, I would say, as you guys can see over here, it is struggling at full. So it's not even playing in real time. So let's just start over and let's try that half. One step. That half is not even playing it at real time. So what about third one step so yeah. at the third it is still not playing it back in real time. Yeah, come, come. Right, so let's try a quarter so go back let's play one step one step a quarter is not playing it in real time either so one thing to note if you guys are used to after effects um if you play it out and then go back it plays even better so you see this green line right here that's running that's basically i believe rendering it so when you go back it plays even better so let's do that and see how it works so i'm currently in auto so let's press play one step 
Yeah. The cards. It's summer. So it's definitely not playing it in real time. So if I go back now, it should play it nicely. One step. Ooh, still not playing it nicely. So that's how it plays it in playback. So it's not really a good playback speed, but I don't really get any better on my main computer. So this might be just a thing. I know the minimum requirements for After Effects is like 16 gigabytes. And I have, I believe this is 16 gigabytes right here in RAM. Let me check to make sure. Let's go to about and let's go there. So it is at 16 gigabytes and it has a let's see how many scores this have actually so let's go to task manager and see how many cores we have because the more cores the better so this is currently at eight cores so it should be running it better but i was expecting better to be honest but it is pretty manageable you could definitely work in after effects using this computer for sure but with all that said lies, let's get to the rendering. So I'm gonna go ahead and render this. So let's go to, where's export? So export, Adobe Media Encoder Q. And let's see how long it takes. So you guys might be saying, um, this video is pretty straightforward, which it is. So this is my first time using it on camera, whatever I'm seeing. I'm seeing it just as you guys are seeing it on screen. So it's like a live reaction and how it works. So now I'm going to go ahead and export it. Let's put it in a file where I can find it. And let's put it here for now. And let's call it test. Because this is a test. So let's press start. And see how fast it works. Hmm. Failed. Why did it fail? All right, let's try to delete all this right here and let's exit out of that. All right, so let's go to export again, Adobe Media NQ encoder, I mean, and let's wait for it to come up. Why is it not coming up? All right, there it is. So let's go here. You know what? Let's leave it in this location and let's just hit start. So now it's working. Yeah, now it's working. So it's doing its thing. And let's see how long it takes. So it's currently 11.58 a.m. So I'll be right back when this is done exporting. Gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. Hold up. So before you guys start to hate on this computer saying that it's slow, it is not worth the money and all those stuff, this project that I was using was definitely loaded with effects and keyframes. So as I said, the audio was used for the text to react to the audio. So each time you see that text move, that was a keyframe. And the text would move like two times per second so imagine a keyframe two keyframes per second or whatever so it was definitely task heavy so i believe that is why i was not getting a good playback speed so i just want to make that clear stay tuned for my final thoughts all right guys so it took around 43 minutes because it's currently 12 41 pm so that's how long it takes. So here's my final thought. So as I said before, that project was definitely heavily loaded. As you guys can see here at a closer look, let's big up the timeline. There's like a keyframe for each frame. If you guys get what I'm saying, and this is 60 frames per second. So that is like 60 keyframes per second. Hope that makes sense for you guys. So I believe that is why it was struggling 
I know that is why it's struggling plus it's struggling to play the audio in sync with the motion so there's a lot going on so with that guys said I would say that this laptop is definitely useful for you if you're doing lighter projects so let's say you're doing like a lower third for your video or let's say you're doing a quick intro you know those quick snappy intros if you're doing something like that then this is definitely the machine for you also this is definitely like a portable machine let's say you have like your your main machine which is a pc a desktop pc you want to carry this around to maybe show your client a closer look at the project and get some feedback and what to change in person because as you guys know it's hard to bring around a desktop in person so this would be your portable machine so it is definitely useful so that's my final thoughts guys it will definitely crush after effects if it's some lighter projects but if it's like heavier projects like this then you might want to avoid those heavier projects so that's my honest opinion on this laptop right here i did some testing with gaming and also adobe premiere pro you guys can go and check that out but that's pretty much it for this video guys if you reach this far in the video please definitely subscribe because you definitely like the content if you want to be a part of the family a link will be down where you can join our discord and you can definitely contribute some ideas and what you want to see in the future on this channel but as i said guys please feel free to leave some comments down below what do you like about this computer are you planning to get it does your computer run after effects smoothly just leave any kind of question any kind of comments down below i'll definitely be down there to answer your comments or somebody else will answer them so that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching until my next video i'll see you guys when i see you guys peace